time music fans welcome back harmless dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you just like me all right um here's uriah heap chaos and color a uh, great album been promoting it again if you're gonna go buy a cd uh this is a holy crap batman kind of thing because it's just loaded with um good stuff in there uh the pages are so well done the pictures everything in here is high quality and i got this off of amazon i can't really stand jeff bezos because he rules the world but um next day delivery free shipping you know <clears throat> it's where they get you folks it's convenience you don't want to support people that basically want to dismantle humanity but <sighs> these are the problems we have anyway um jeff scott soto by the way is on this and he used to sing for journey <laughs> and the guy who was there after him or became the singer after him arnell pineda he's kind of in the news he's in the news because um he tweeted out some things yesterday and uh it was really weird uh what he tweeted and then someone sent me a picture of arnell and a companion very attractive woman i don't know if it's Arnell's wife, I'm assuming. I don't know much about Arnell's personal life. Anyway, um, he was at the Donald Trump campaign launch or a recent fundraiser for the former president. And uh, it's got all of the usual people up in arms. You know, it was tweeted out by this Patriot Takes thing which sounds like, oh, Patriot takes, they must really like the country. And no, I'm reading it. And it's like, it's kind of like the reverse of libs of TikTok, you know, I'm reading it going, oh, they don't like Matt Gates. Okay. Why don't they like Matt Gates? Because Matt Gates wants people to get jobs and be productive members of society. Yeah. Again, folks, it's not like I love Matt Gates because just hear me out. All right. Most people have kind of like a hundred foot view, maybe just sea level looking at politics. It's all tribal. Frank Zappa was a hundred percent right. Frank, the, the late great Frank Zappa, pretty good guitar player, right? Pretty weird, pretty innovative. But he said, look, politics, it's the entertainment wing of the military industrial complex. That's it, done. So when you get involved in a political tribe, you're just concerned about your team winning. You're not concerned if people get what they need. You're not concerned about how people can coexist and get along. Um, no, all of this is just to make us confused, angry. Um, you know, your team won. So you can gloat and then the other team can start fundraising off of the fact that the other team won this time around. And we're gonna get those Republicans next time. We're gonna get those Democrats. Now, the Democrats are destroying civilization. Just, that's, that's the way I look at it. They're just destroying everything. Everything they touch, go to an inner city, okay? And tell me it's functioning well. Tell me the, the police department works in what Memphis, Tennessee. Tell me, and who's running it? Who's, who's running it, you know? Um, and are they running it based on merit? You know, I can go through a whole list. And, and then you've got the issue of just how people are trained uh, and why they're working for a, a certain division of government. And most of it is cronyism most of it's corruption um it, it's we we've really we're, we're watching the collapse of everything in real time so when you support a tribe you show up at a fundraiser arnell and you're putting your <clears throat> eggs in that basket and then your your boss the guy who hired you whether you like it or not you know, he discovered you on YouTube. He's going to throw this at you. He's going to say, look, you know, I didn't have to pick you. I could have went with Hugo, which would have been a real logical pick, but I took a chance and I went with Arnell. <clears throat> and it wasn't easy logistically to get Arnell here. 
And I think Arnell added um, a level of humility and just a, a different tenor to this ego-driven rock icon, rock dinosaur known as Journey. But I think now some of that's going away because Arnell is like, hey, you're not keeping me down. I'm going to do what I want to do. And I don't blame him at all for that. I mean, this is his choice. And look, it's not like he's out there campaigning for the guy, but he did attend, much like John, he did attend the campaign kickoff or some event that occurred later. Now, with the caveat that the picture that I looked at, it doesn't really um, make it clear. It's like Trump isn't in the background or anything. I can't see, <clears throat> you know, the, the Mar-a-Lago interior of that room that they're in to identify that as being at Trump's estate, but I'm assuming um, that's where the picture was taken. And I'm sure someone will verify that as time goes along. But after seeing the picture, I'm going, okay, all right, this is just like 2017 all over again, where everybody shows up at the White House and Neil has no idea. Look, <clears throat> there should be NDAs here. There should be legal, there should be management, there should be non-disclosures, there should be all of these things where, hey, you do this and then you're out, or you're getting fined, or you're not getting paid. Um, and I'm not saying this because I don't think these guys should have a, not have a life. They should be able to do what they want to do. But if you want the band not to be political, then, you know, you call a meeting and you say, hey, um, management, Neil, whoever sits down and says, hey, you can't you can't do this. You can't. We're not political. Um, this is going to make half the people in the world really upset with us. And maybe not. Maybe Trump's popularity is greater uh, because, you know, all of that information is suppressed around the clock. The algorithms work in the opposite direction. I'm very sympathetic to all the Trump people because I believe those are the people that make the country work for the most part. I think they're being duped. I will say this because they're, it's, it's not going to change unless you change the structure, which is above the presidency. This is what people don't get, right? Or they, most people do get it. They go, how come, you know, there's a witch hunt on my guy now? What Biden, right? What's going on with all these documents with Biden? I mean, Biden doesn't know anything, but Biden doesn't even know where the bathroom is. And now we've got documents, like he put them in his garage. Okay, all of it is, this is, and I'm not sympathetic to the guy because He's been in politics for 50 years, and they just used him as a Trojan horse to get into the White House. Like, yeah, Joe? Yeah, we know Joe. Joe's okay. And then Joe can't even put a sentence together. So, yeah, Trump is Einstein compared to Biden. I mean, he is. Even if you don't like his style, Trump has still got most of his brain cells, and they're, and they're working. Um, I wish... Uh, these older guys would just retire and let somebody a bit younger, um, a bit less polarizing, let me say this carefully, but also somebody who's determined to just represent the country well at this point. But again, whoever gets in there is just going to get overruled by, you know, this extra branch of government that nobody can see. So, you know, it's there, though, because you know about the JFK thing, you know about um, all of these scandals over the years, even Nixon, even Nixon, if you dig into that, you're going to find out some crazy stuff that Nixon wanted to investigate what happened to his political rival, because he was more concerned about the country than about party or tribalism. And this is the kind of virtue that is, it, it doesn't exist anymore. It's just a battle between left and right, supposedly. And there's no battle. There's just my team versus the other team. And this is why, you know, I'm not a member of either one of these tribes anymore.
I just, I just can't do it. It doesn't make sense to me. But when it comes to journey in politics, this is again, the last thing this band needed going into this tour. Uh, Neil is probably gonna make a statement at some point and say, hey, here we go, guys, here we go. And I think we can pretty much confirm that the other guy, when they were talking about the two people that uh, opposed Greg Raleigh, it's gotta be Arnell and John. Those are the two guys, it's gotta be. Um, could be Dean, could be Todd Jensen, but probably not. Probably, I just can't see either one of those guys doing that. Um, Dean has worked with Greg in Journey Through Time. And Todd, Todd just seems like a really happy-go-lucky, glad to be here, this is better than Hardline. Um, he's just a good guy, I think. Todd Jensen, good bass player too, if you go and listen to his playing, I think you'll agree. But in any event, people, um, another day in the life of Journey drama, and it takes this turn, uh, which I just didn't expect, especially going into the tour. Um, it, it really does spell the end for this band. It, it just does. I mean, this can't continue. Arnell, you know, his tweets kind of illustrate that at some point he's not going to care about this anymore, and he's just going to walk away from it. Uh, I'm thinking John, too. He can do full-time ministry with the wife and not be a part of this anymore. The problem is that the money is so big and the brand is so important to so many people that it's tempting to just push through and keep going despite the acrimony, which is just growing and growing. So in any event, um, that's my take on this. Uh, you can go see the tweet, I believe, Patriot, Tate, whatever. Um, these are people that are just really horrible as far as their, their politics. And um, it's weird because you look at it, you go, hey, it's a patriotic um, American type thing. Oh, yeah, it's just great. It's great if you're Klaus Schwab, you know, that's that's where it becomes useful. But um, these are just tribes and they don't care about you. George Carlin was right. It's a big club and you ain't in it. All right. Uh, one more time with this amazing album by Uriah Heep, Chaos in Color. Uh, grab your copy. It's worth it. Um, don't use it as a coaster. It's too nice to be a coaster. Uh, it's not made from the right material to be a coaster either. Um, so yeah, uh, listen to the album and support the band, a great band who should also probably be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But uh, good luck with that, Uriah Heep. Um, Tribe Called Quest, they're going in. Uriah Heep, not so much. <laughs> 